Hello students, I am Professor Anindu Ghosh, teaching at Dhirubhai Ambani Institute for Information and Communication Technology, Gandhinagar, Gujarat. I have joined this institute after completing 26 years of my service as a senior research scientist at Space Application Center, ISRO. <clears throat> Today I am going to talk about a few new postgraduate program on agriculture analytics which will be jointly implemented by Dhiruvai Ambani Institute for Information Communication Technology, Gandhinagar, Indian Institute of Remote Sensing, Dehradun, and Anand Agriculture University, Anand. The program is going to be started from 22 and 23 academic groups. As the name suggests, that the program is a mix of two major disciplines, that is agriculture and analytics. Agriculture science is being taught at agriculture universities and so students in the process learn various subjects like agronomy, soil science, genetics, agriculture extension. On the other hand, analytics is the systematic analysis or scientific process of discovering and communicating the meaningful patterns which can be found in the data. So for analytics, the data is the main input on which this subject is working. The foundation of analytics is statistical methods. In this program, you will learn how the data, be it from agronomy, weather or soil, are scientifically processed for visualization, prediction or prescription. Let us take a live examples. Say, we have collected daily maximum and minimum temperature data for all 750 districts in the country. This will be a huge data. It is 750 districts multiplied 365 days multiplied 2 because maximum and minimum both temperatures are there. So to, together it becomes 5,47,500 data points. Now these are only numbers. But if we want to visualize how the daily temperature is varying as a function of days, as a function of region. Learning from this program will be will help to do what is easily and to do the analysis in an easily presentable format, which is known as a descriptive analysis. The statistics will help to extract the pattern which is not easily seen in the data. The scientific processing will also help to predict how the temperature will behave in the next year or the year after next, which is known as a predictive analytics. There is another area of analytics which is known as a prescriptive analytics. As part of the watershed development, for example, let us say a planner has to decide what are the best combination of soil and water conservation measures that can be implemented in a most cost and time effective manner. This can be achieved by something known as a statistical optimization, which is taught as part of the prescriptive analytics. Since this program is implemented by three institutions, in the first semester, the students will be at Dhirubhai Ambani Institute to learn few fundamental subjects, which will be useful in the next two semester. And the subject they'll be learning are primarily the coding, the statistical method, the earth observation system, etc. In the third, second semester, the students will move to Indian Institute of Remote Sensing, Dehradun, and they will learn different aspects of satellite data processing from the IRS scientist. They are in the subjects of machine learning, big data analytics, analytics, geoprocessing, and spatial modeling. In the third semester, the students will move to Anand Agriculture University to learn some of the domain subjects like crop, soil and weather analytics, risk analysis and modeling, and agriculture market analytics. In the summer semester, before going to Anand Agriculture University, few value-added courses also will be taught by the industries in their with their live projects. In the fourth semester, the students will carry out internship or research projects with either the industry 
or faculty of any of these three institutions. The students will have a freedom to choose any of the faculties from these three institutions and carry out their research projects with them in their respective institution. So the program will facilitate comprehensive learning in different subjects from different institutions, including industry. Effort will also be made to place the students before they leave the campus to start their professional career. So I invite all the prospective students to grow, go through the advertisement and register yourself on the BICT website link and appear for the written test, which is be the uh, test for selection of the candidates. Thank you very much.